Hey everyone, how's it going? Today's video is going to be hopefully short and sweet. I'm gonna try and keep it concise. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on our plans for the summer and a little kind of a heads up for summer planning and summer goal making. Just kind of chatting about that with you guys a little bit right now. This summer is going to be super crazy for this Bruff household. Zach is currently in the MBA program, uh, the business program here at BYU, and he's finishing up finals um, this week. We are heading down to Arizona on Thursday, and actually Zach isn't coming with us. He's gonna be staying here in Utah because he is going on a month-long trip to Asia and a whole bunch of, you know, a bunch of countries in Asia with the business school here. They're going to be checking out a bunch of different businesses that they have connections with in and around Asia, so they're doing that. So me and my sister Katie and the three kids are driving down to Arizona, it's an 11 hour drive. We're gonna drive down there, um, hang out with the family for a couple days. My mom is actually keeping all three kids while I actually fly out to Asia and meet Zach out there for like 10 days. Oh, I'm so excited! It's gonna be crazy being away from the kids for that long. I've never been away from my kids for more than a week, I think, not even a week. Um, so that's gonna be hard, especially with the baby, but I'm really excited. It's gonna be really fun for me and Zach to travel around. I'm going to vlog a bunch of it. I might not be vlogging like day of. I might have to wait until we get home from the trip to, to post the videos from there, but either way, you're gonna see a, a bunch of our trip there. So yeah, so I'm going to Asia for a couple days, for like a week and a half, and then we'll be flying back to Arizona, and me and the kids are gonna be in Arizona until the end of May. Um, so we're excited because I, well, there's two new babies, two other new babies in our family, so we have Bo, and then my sister had her baby Whitney, and then my other sister-in-law, Haley, she just had a super sweet baby girl named Cosette, so I'm really excited to meet her. So anyway, lots of fun family time, it'll be the perfect amount of time just to be with our family, to swim, and to have fun, and to just catch up with everybody, so it's gonna be super great, even though Zach won't be there. Yeah, you're coming too, Piper. Once Zach gets back from Asia, we have a couple of days to chill in Arizona, and then we are driving to Seattle, because he's doing an internship um, with Amazon in Seattle. And so we are all moving to Seattle for three months, um, through June, July, and August. And it's gonna be an adventure. I've never been to Seattle. I've never been to the Northwest at all. So I, I, I'm really excited. Zach's never been there either. So we're gonna drive. We're not sure if we're gonna drive yet or if me and the kids are gonna fly and Zach's going to drive. I wanna drive because I kind of like the idea of a big long road trip, breaking it up into a couple days and kind of maybe like going up the coast um, along the way and just making it a fun trip. Also because I just like Zach. I like hanging out with him. I think it's fun. I like road trips. I like talking with him and listening to our music together. So I don't know. That is still up in the air. What do you guys think about that? Would you rather fly with the three kids or drive with the three kids. Keep in mind, I do have a newborn. I mean, not a newborn anymore, he's three months and he'll be four months when we drive. No, he'll be five months. So he'll be, you know, not quite newborn, but he'll still be needing to get out and eat every three to four hours. So anyway, keep that in mind, but three kids and me alone on an airplane, I'm not so sure about that, so. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. So I'm super excited about going to uh, Seattle. We're gonna do a couple day trips, maybe head down to Portland. Zach's brother and our sister-in-law are actually going to be close. We might go visit them. Um, we have connections in Vancouver we might go visit. We're just gonna, it's gonna be a blast. If you guys love Seattle and have some suggestions for kid ideas, kid activities, um, things that we, me and Zach, maybe date nights that Zach and I should definitely go on, let me know in the comments because I don't know anything about Seattle. So those are our plans for the summer. I'm really excited. We're gonna have family time, swimming time, adventure time, Seattle time. It's gonna be really, really awesome. And then we will be coming back here in August. Also in August, I will be flying down to Utah to be, um, to come to CVX. If you guys, Want to come to a really fun YouTuber creator conference, CVX Live here in Salt Lake. Super fun, I've actually never been, but I've heard really good things about it and I'm going this year. I'm so excited. All right, so the summer is upon us, people. It's only April, it's almost May. Zach, the, the college that we are at right now, um, it kind of gets out a little bit earlier than most schools and so summer's kind of like freaking me out right now. But for you guys, you probably have a couple more weeks until school, kids get out of school and things like that until the summer really hits. So I am here to remind you that summertime is a great time to get some new goals going, to figure out um, a good, it's just, it's just a good amount of time, like three, four months, it's a good amount of time to do some short-term goals and some long-term goals and to get out and to have adventures and to do what you wanna do. 
I was just listening to a podcast. Um, I'll link it below. I can't remember what it's called right now because I just barely found it. It's like a life, um, a life coaching podcast. And she was talking about time management and how to get things done and not just get things done, but to how, how to achieve our dreams and our goals in life. And one of the things that she said that I really liked is to just just do it. I'm very much a do it kind of person. If if I need to get a video done and I'm like thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it and it's never getting done, eventually I'm just like, okay, turn on the camera, do whatever happens. Just do something and upload. That's what I have to do to keep my YouTube channel going sometimes is just upload. Keep uploading. Think of that, I guess, as you guys are getting into summer. What are some things that you, either as a family, as an individual, what do you want your kids to achieve, your husband, whatever it is that you really want to achieve, do it. Write it down, stick it on your wall, look at it every day, think about it, talk about it, tell your friends about it, tell your family about it, and then, you know, do it. Just, let's see, I don't know what it is. If, if, you're, if you're trying to get like a regular gym routine going, stop thinking about it and just go. That's, that's one thing that I struggled with this last couple months is like, I have a gym pass, but I don't want to, like, I just think about it all the time, like, oh, am I gonna go to the gym today? Am I not, oh, I'm so tired, like, I really do need sleep, but I don't have enough good food, so maybe I should go to the gym to make up for the calories. No, like, just go to the gym. It's a good thing to do, so just do it. If it's a good thing that you guys wanna do, just do it. And I know it's not that simple, but it's a good place to start. Start where you're at and go, just do. So whatever your guys' summer goals are, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to have some new goals for myself. So if you have something in mind that you really wanna achieve this summer, let me know. So yeah, that's all I have to say for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with us this summer. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun things. And don't forget to let me know what your guys' goals are for this summer. I would love to add them to my list of goals. Let me know. We'll talk to you guys later. Mom, some, sometime, um, this is how you say bye bye too. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. And bye bye. bye, -bye.